and Lil's lucky to have you in his life. Well, I'm not lucky, man. Thank you. You know, Doc and I, we were just talking this morning, you know, and she was telling me that she just can't wait for the day when she can marry you and Will again. And I told her, you know what? Me neither. <laughs> What happened to all this concern you had for the father of your child? You think I'm not worried about Will? Just wondering why you're here with me and not at the hospital with him. Oh, well, I told you I came to deal with the crisis of Gabby Sheik. A crisis that phew, went away the second you started coming on to me. I'm not coming on to you. No, nah, you just want a little hate sex, that's all. Wonder, what are you up to, Gabby? Why do you think I would be up to anything? I just can't help but think that you have an ulterior motive. Well, what if I just had a moment of weakness? No, that is. Boss, we need to talk. What's up? The guys from the cartel, I headed back to the same All right, did you call Chloe's bodyguards? Yeah, I tried, but just going straight to voice. Now, that whole area around the park, it's notorious for being a dead zone. I have to warn them in person. I'll go with you. Gabby. Sh yeah, I will show myself out. Text me if you need anything. What is it? What's wrong? Uh, your phone. I saved it from Holly's sticky fingers. <laughs> Gotta keep your eye out on that one at all times. Huh? Uh, yeah, and I didn't mean to look, but your text messages were open. What messages? Yeah, like the one text from Gabby telling you that Holly and I were going to be here. Chloe, look. Brady, is I, it true? Did you know? Was this a setup? No, it was a, it was a setup. No, did you trick me? Like, no, no. Yeah, yes or no? Did you Chloe, know we were going to be here? Did you lie to me? to explain, okay? No, Brady, Please. I don't need any more excuses. Now I remember why I broke up with you the first time and the Chloe, second Chloe, time. I'm worried about you. That's it. I, I, I'm worried about you being at Stefan's house. I don't like you being okay, there. It's not good. There are so many things I want to say to you right now, but I won't not in front of Holly. So please, we just pack up our stuff and drop it off at the mansion. Come on, really? Holly. Let's go. Come on, honey. Yeah, at least let me walk you to the car. Please, no, that's what the bodyguards are for. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. All right. Say goodbye to Brady. Good. Bye. Bye. Chloe, come on. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Gabby. Hi. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, I just I had some unfinished business with Stefan. What are you doing here? I was in the gatehouse. You spent the night with Ben? Yeah, but it's not what you think. So you didn't sleep in Ben's bed? No, I did, but no, he, he was out all night. I just needed somewhere to go. I needed to get out of the loft for Haley and Tripp's wedding. Right, yeah, no judgment. Whatever, I just, you know, I wouldn't want to be sleeping with a serial killer, but to each his own, you know? No judgment, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's going to take a little bit for me to be sold on him. Yeah, well... The thing is, I don't need to defend Ben to you. Especially not right now. He, uh... He just put himself in a really dangerous situation. Yeah, I know. Stefan went right after him to find Chloe. Yeah, and he wouldn't even let me call the cops. Do you think that that's a good idea? I mean, we should probably call your mom or Rafe. Mm. I don't know, Gabby. Ben was pretty adamant that he doesn't trust them. Yeah. Seems like they don't even trust each other these days. Did you know that Rafe is actually staying at my house with Jordan's baby? What? He moved out? Well, from what Rafe said, uh, your mom just didn't want to be around a baby, so 